<laughs> Today I'm in the kitchen with my dad and dad is going to make us one of his recipes. What are you making today, Dad? Uh, we're going to make some sweet potato, kale, and quinoa. So, let's, let's get started. Get started. Oh, started. Sorry. Let's get started. So, so let's, let's get started. started. <laughs> okay, Dad. What's the first step? First step is to peel the onions and cut it into small pieces. Let's go. Top, tail. And look, I taught him good. He's even got a scrap bowl. Good job, Dad. Very nice rough dice, Dad. So now I'm just gonna put some oil in the pot uh, and then fry this off uh, for a couple of minutes just to make sure it becomes nice and tender and brown. We need a larger pot because it, uh, as I said, when you put the leafy stuff at the end, it needs somewhere to the sit. The leafy stuff, that's right. Uh, put a quarter of a cup of olive oil in, uh, get that hot, and then put the onions in. Let's go. Nice. And we just... We cook them for about three or four minutes. Okay, so we've got one large sweet potato, it's about 900 grams, and we've got to cut it into three centimeter chunks. I'll just peel them. You gotta peel it. Oh, look at that, Dad. That's madness. This is this is some super, super human dad trick. Don't, don't do this at home, guys. If you're gonna peel it at home, you use a peeler. Dad is a, obviously a master at this. I didn't have peelers when I was a kid. Oh, didn't you, Dad? No. What did so you have when you were a kid, Dad? Just knives, and I've still got all my fingers. If you wanted to leave it on, I'm sure that it would be fine. That's right. Of course you could leave it on. Now we've got them in about three centimetre bits, but we need to cut them into uh, squares. Squares. Just little cubes, guys. I've got to worry about waving the knife around in front of the camera. Yeah, watch out from the camera. Steph will kill me. Hi, Steph. Hello Steph. The onions are nice and brown. Oh, sure. And they're just about ready. Nice and soft and tender and brown. Okay, next we add all the condiments. All the condiments? Yes. All the spices? That's the one. A list of all the ingredients and what I'm about to put in is in the list below. Description box below. The description box below will say what I'm putting in. <laughs> okay, we have a spoonful of turmeric. Turmeric, cumin. cumin powder, beautiful. Nice big, nice big spoon. tablespoon of that. And then we've got some coriander, coriander powder, beautiful. Yeah, and then we put some mustard, beautiful. And some um, cinnamon, cinnamon. Yeah, we think that's for cooking cakes, but we don't. We put it in here. Look at that! Wow, what well, cinnamon does? Well, it gives it a nice uh, flavour. There you go. And we just cook these around really quickly. Stir them all together. And. Let all them become fragrant, Dad. Yes, becomes very fragrant. Become fragrant. So now all the onions is mixed, uh, is mixed with them, the ingredients that I just put in. Yep. And next, we just add the sweet potato. We now add it to the uh, fragrant fragrance. Add it to all the fragrance, love it. Yeah, look at that. So then we just mix it to make sure that the coating goes over all the sweet potato. Beautiful. Next, we add the quinoa. How much are we gonna put in, one cup? About a cup. Beautiful. As with most things with, with me, uh, a little bit more. A little bit more. Okay. So what we do is we add a couple of cups of water. So I'd say about four cups. About four cups, yes. Which is about a litre for the Aussies. And once again, we give it a bit of a stir. We've got to bring this to the boil. Pop on the lid and cook for about 15 minutes. Perfect. So while we wait for the sweet potato to cook, you can duck over to Amazon and look up the Fit Couple Cook's new cookbook and all the links are below. <laughs> just duck over to Amazon and get a book, Dad. Duck over. Yeah, yeah, we just duck over. Duck and, over. And have a look. Nice. Just, we've got to talk Australian here. Same, while we're here. mate. Okay, we don't put any things with it. We just say it the way it is. That's it. <laughs> Classic. So about every five minutes, we come back, give it a stir to make sure that nothing sticks to the bottom and uh, just to rotate things around in the pot. Perfect. Put it back and wait another five minutes. Now we're ready for the kale. We just cut the bottom ends off, because we don't want those. Don't want that. And then we rough, roughly chop the kale into pieces. This time, we don't have to uh, peel it, and we don't have to do any chunks with it. We just cut it as good as it good. Yeah, as good as it good. 
That's, I like that one, Dad. As good as it's good. good. Once it really starts to boil, turn the heat down. And you want to bring it to a simmer and keep cooking for another five, ten minutes just until most of the water is gone. So if you guys want to know where I get my fro from and I get my good looks, there we go. And look, there's another one of Dad. We even have the same beard. Look at that. What a good looking bloke. We're back here again. There's a little bit of water, but the quinoa will soak the rest of that up. Um, the sweet potato is actually cooked, nice and soft. Beautiful. So that's all done. So now we take the lid off yep. and we add the kale. And we give it a mix up. Mix it all together. And as you put the kale in, the rest of the water will disappear. So now we can take it off the heat. Cool, so turn the heat off. Heat's off, beautiful. And um, so where you just stir it all in and then you let the heat of the quinoa and the sweet potato cook the kale with the yeah. steam. Yeah, if you don't, uh, the, the kale just gets, uh, it overcooks itself. This way, it's only the steam and the heat that's gonna cook it. Beautiful. There you go, and we put the lid back on and let it rest for about 10 minutes and it'll be ready to eat. Nice. <laughs> Okay guys, so you can cook this and make it a side dish for a weeknight meal, or you can prep it up now, and we'll show you how to do that. It's gonna be a decent sized meal at 400 grams. Perfect, that's gonna be a full meal. Weigh them out at 400 grams each. Should make about six meals. It's a very big meal. If you're not vegan and you wanted to make chicken or something, you could like half this and add a piece of chicken. Totally up to you. I'll leave all the macros be in the description box below. And to finish, garnish with a piece of lemon. <laughs> Right in the middle. <laughs> good job, Dad. It's a good job and it's really nice to eat and I hope you enjoy it. Nice. Easy as that, guys. Hope you enjoyed Dad's recipe. Dad, you gotta tell him to give it a thumbs up. And make sure you add a thumbs up to the bottom of the Facebook page or whatever it is, and it'll be really good. <laughs> oh, it's the best. Uh, what else should I do, Dad? Uh, well, make sure you post it on Instagram if you make a video. And tell them the hashtag Fit Couple Cooks. And hashtag Fit Couple Cooks. And tag it Fit Couple Cooks. And tag it with Fit Couple Cooks. Do you know what that means? No. No, I didn't think so. So, I thank you for watching, having my dad here. He's a good bloke. And to sign off, Dad, you gotta say, Namaste. Namaste. <laughs> namaste, ready? Namaste. namaste. Don't look at that. Look at, let's look at this. I'll look at that. Okay. Don't look at the okay. actual camera. Okay. Ready? Smiling. Okay. Smiling. Wait. Smiling. Smiling. Okay. Smiling. Okay. Smiling. You can go over to Amazon and and look at the and the. <laughs> <laughs>